Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a summer what's in my diaper bag and a review of one of my absolute favorite diaper bags. I did something similar last summer for you and you loved it, so I'm doing an updated version of this video. Um, today's video is in collaboration with Miss Fong. Miss Fong has always been my go-to for diaper bags. I absolutely love her style and I love the new design that came out. This is the Peace and Love di diaper backpack and if you guys have been around for a while, you know that all of my diaper bags have always been backpack style. Um, anyway, absolutely love it. I just switched from like the tote and then I had like a rounded version um, and now I've got the peace and love style backpack. Anyways, let's hop on into the video and I'm gonna go through all of the pockets and the nooks and the crannies and the things that I keep inside of my bag. All right, also, I know that I'm going to get so much flack in the comments. I am from Minnesota, so I have like quite the Midwest accent and I say, bag instead of bag or whatever just or purse I don't know I get so much flack for it I think it's so funny um, but that's just how I say it so sorry about it let's kind of get like into some of the pockets on this bag and the reason why I love this bag is there's so many little places I can like like stash stuff all right so inside the bag here I've got it nice and zoomed in for you guys um, there are two insulated pockets you can stick bottles here or juices etc like some applesauce actually I do something really funny with these pockets um, I stick my glasses inside of them so I have my Ray-Bans and I also have my um, regular glasses I'll keep them in here because that insulated cushioning actually keeps them protected so I know that's such a funny thing to keep inside this pocket but it works perfectly for it um, there's also like inside of here so there's like the main pocket and then there's also like a like sub pocket I'll call it um, so I in like the little front section is where I keep all of my mommy stuff so I've got like my hand sanitizer um, I've got some morphe um, lip gloss and then I've got just like miscellaneous things emergency more lipstick this is gonna be just as a, a surprise to me as it is to you guys, but um, all of my mom things in that pocket. Now in the main pocket, I keep a mask on hand for myself and also for both of the kids. Um, but the kids is, are out of here right now because I'm washing them. Um, and then I just have some more hand sanitizer because everybody knows what's going on in the world right now. I don't need to say it, but we need all the hand sanitizer. Um, and then I also have, oh look, nail polish. I don't know where that came from. Um, and then I've got some chapstick and I also have a set of earrings. This is weird, but I always keep a set of earrings with me just in case I forget to throw some in. I'm going to a meeting or something and I just want to like fancy up my outfit I currently have on. I'll just throw in some earrings and boom, I look much cuter. So that and then some like lipstick and I instantly am ready for a meeting. So anyway, everything that I need is right here. This is also where I'll keep my cell phone um, and anything else that I need to grab um, like quickly. My keys is another great, so this is a great spot for your keys. There is another place I'm gonna show you guys for your keys, but this is typically where I will stash them. It's right here in the front pocket. All right, so moving on, I want to show you. So this bag comes with um, these two little like side zips and I love this. this I actually will shove like really um, like another like easy like area to grab things. So I'll shove things in here that I really need on the go. So a lot of times I'll actually throw like applesauces, like flatter items like that, or even like snack bags inside of this little like hidden pocket. Um, another thing that I've shoved in here is my checkbook. I've shoved um, like pens and like mail, just like things that I want to be able to grab easily and not have to dig inside the bag for it. I'll just shove it into these little pockets. Um, and I do want to mention that this little guy right here, does, this does not come with the bag. This was just a little charm that I purchased myself um, from Amazon and I, um, I threw it on here. I just, I love like the boho shiki feel. Um, so anyway, so I threw that on here as well for a little charm. So let's get into those side pockets. Really, really big side pockets. This is actually where I will shove um, Riker's bottles. This is not insulated, um, but most of the time I don't need them to be insulated because I just have like water in his bottles. Um, and then I can even fit my like large Yeti inside of these pockets. So nice and roomy, like just, it fits so much. Um, like I said, I usually have my big Yeti in there, but they're so deep. You see how like far down they go? 
so amazing. Anyway, I usually have some kind of like large water bottle in these side pockets for myself and for the kids. All right, so now we're gonna back it up a little bit and I am going to get into the rest of the bag. So in the back, this is one of my favorite features of the Miss Fong backpacks. Um, most of the ones that I've had have had this pocket in the back. So this back pocket also comes on the piece and love um, style of backpacks. So it's just like, it's a magnetic, um, clothes like snap clothes um compartment but this is where a lot of times i will put like coloring books or kaya's ipad she has a mini ipad and it fits perfectly in the back of this that's always where i'll shove that um just because sometimes i need it hidden and she always looks in the main compartment instead of the back um so anyway i will always put kaya's ipad in here maybe some coloring books things like that if we're going to be on the road for a while all right so there are a couple of different strap options when it comes to your miss fong let's flip over here um what i really love about this bag is that there's like all this extra room on top if you look on the side it's open here um and it doesn't just like close where the um like where the top of the bag is it gives you just this extra bulge which you wouldn't think twice about but for me i shove so much stuff in here like clothes and like when we're coming back from the lake i just shove so much stuff in here so um that extra little bulge just gives you so much more room um there's a couple of little like hooks here which i'm sure you can actually um like connect so there's four hooks um you can actually like connect them for different wearing styles again i'll show you those straps in a minute one of the things that i like to use these hooks for is um for my keys all right i'm back i had to go and start Riker on movie i apologize for the background noise i have to keep him occupied with something while i finish this up for you guys so um, like I was saying, these like little loops here, I will use these for my keys because I've got like a little carabiner thing on my keys that I can just snap on. So getting into the main section of the diaper bag, um, I'm just going to say it's a mess, okay? This is like, this is real. Um, total mess but there's so many different compartments there's a back pocket here and then there is a front pocket and then there are two insulated pockets on the side which i will zoom in and show you there's two um two insulated pockets on the inside for bottles as well which is super nice and then there's more pockets so let's zoom in quick so i can show you all of the cute little pockets inside of the bag okay so now you guys are nice and zoomed in um so i've got the main pocket on the back and then I also have, there are two additional two pockets here, which you can stick like diaper cream or sunblock in there. And then, and then this is the back pocket. I have it unzipped to show you guys. There's a big back pocket and then two additional um, pockets for like, like I said, this one has like a little Velcro thing on it um, on this side. Um, but you can stick like, like I said, like sunblock or ponytails or little toys, whatever it may be. And then on the side, all right. And then on the side of the inside, both sides have insulated pockets so as you guys can see here it's nice and insulated for any kind of like juice or if you want to put um, water bottles or baby bottles breast milk things like that just keep them in these insulated pockets i would do that all the time last summer as i would throw my breast milk in these pockets by the time Riker was ready for a bottle the frozen breast milk would be defrosted by then it was perfect so yeah so i just stuck those and there's one on both sides in here awesome and i'm going to give you an overview of the inside once i empty it out okay so let's get into what i keep inside of my purse um i keep little snack bags inside of here these are reusable snack bags this one is an itsy ritzy one um i do use like blue ellie and some other you think so like it's just going crazy in the background so mom life um, anyway, so I keep like reusable snack bags in there and you want some buddy, huh? No. We like to go on walks every morning and it's nice for me to just grab that out really quick and give it to him so he can eat a snack while we're on walks because this boy is a savage, he loves to eat. Um, and then I keep his little flip flops in here. He's already taken bites out of the tips of both of them. All right, so in the main compartment, I also keep my planner. This is my daily planner, my to-go planner. And I need to have this with me at all times just because I do a lot of my working when I'm going back and forth to places. So I'll like pull over at a gas station, look at my schedule and um, a plan. I'll plan like accordingly for like collaborations and for um, meetings and for m, &M rustic orders and things like that. So I always need to have this on hand. <laughs> you just jump up. 
Did you dump it out? Yeah. Yeah, you did dump it out. You are silly. So I always keep my planner with me. Um, and then um, here in one of the side pockets, I have a go-go squeeze, which I'm actually going to give him right now to try and stop him from making a mess. All right, so getting into the remaining portion of the main section, um, I always have some kind of gum on me um, just so that I don't have like stinky breath if I'm going into a meeting or um, I'm going to be talking with somebody. I also have, just in case, I do have um, both my glasses case and my sunglasses case in here. Um, and then I have a package of wipes. And um, the Miss Fong bag comes with a diaper changer, which is amazing because, like I said, I'm always on the go. I'm either at the lake or I'm going on a walk or going to the park um, or I might be like out in public. Less so in public lately with the kids just because of all of the craziness going on. Um, but mostly just like being outside and such, I can just change him on the grass really quick. It's super nice. Um, to have this for on the go um, or even if we're going to change him in the back of our um, Yukon I can like pull the seats down lay that down and change his bum really quick um, and then I just have my wallet um, inside of here as well so getting into those additional straps the um, the alternative straps that come with this now there are two straps here and I'm going to unpackage them so I can kind of show you guys um, what they're for what I really like about this so these straps are super nice for when we go on walks. If I don't want to wear my backpack anymore, um, I would be able to um, stick these onto the stroller like so. So this way, this can go over the handles um, and then the bag will sit up nice and straight um, and you don't have to use those straps because these straps can kind of fall to the side if you put them on the stroller. Um, this will make it stay nice. So getting into um, more of the um, pockets inside. So these are the two main side pockets that I showed you guys. Um, the front one, I always keep my vitamins in here. Um, I have a pretty hefty regimen. I have a pretty hefty vitamin regimen um, that I like to stick to, so I always have these with me. Um, and then I've got all the diapers in the world in here. Um, we just switched over to Love's uh, diapers recently because we're trying to start potty training him, and these are like the cheaper diapers. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm really surprised at how nice these Love's diapers are, like for the price. Um, and then when I was working, I liked to keep, um, when I was working, I liked to keep some kind of like um, lunch on hand. Um, maybe not as much anymore, but for all you working mamas out there, um, I love bone broth. So I have a couple of things of bone broth. All you do is you tear it, you mix it, and then um, it's ready to sip. And I would just mix it into like some hot water. I would usually use about two of these for like my really giant mug that I had in my office. Um, and then moving over to the other side pocket, this is just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. So I've got some Baby Gannix natural insect repellent. So we're at the lake a lot and there's a lot of mosquitoes here in Minnesota, especially when it's a little bit damp outside. Lots of mosquitoes here in Minnesota and Riker reacts really badly to them. So this is what I keep in there for him. I also, I typically have, it's not in here right now because I just pulled it out. Um, I usually have a sunscreen in here. I use a physical block sunscreen for my kids um, just because that mineral sunscreen and like the chemical sunscreen is just, that's a no-no for me anyways. Um, um, and then I oh, I actually got this from a wedding I was in and stuck it in my purse It's just a little to-go deodorant get down. You're crazy, but get down and Then in this back pocket right now that is where my keys are at But like I said, I usually put them on the loop or in the front pocket I always have airborne or emergency with me at all times, especially when I was working This is something that I would reach for um, daily inside of my purse and then I have a bow on hand for Kaya just in case we're going somewhere like out to eat we want to adjust her up quick but um, honestly that's not something that we mess around with a whole lot right now just because um, like I said we're not really going anywhere in public with the kids right now because of all the craziness going on so um, so yeah um, I've got Tums in here because I get random bouts of like heartburn or whatever it may be and I like to keep that on hand. And then I also have um, just some miscellaneous things in here like pens and an eyeshadow brush 
why I have an eyeshadow brush in here, I don't know. I probably took it away from Kaya. Um, and then I have an eyelash spoolie because I um, have lash extensions and I like to comb my lashes out. Um, and then I have some shimmer and contour. This is just something I got in my in an, like in an Ipsy palette. That's why I have the eyeshadow brush. This is something that I got from an Ipsy bag. Um, it's really nice. Just for like a really quick highlight. Again, like I keep stuff in here for meetings if I just need to like touch up really quick. Um, so eyeshadow, some highlighter. I honestly use this more so for highlighter. I don't use eyeshadow very often. Um, and then let's see. Um, and then I also have an additional highlighter in here. Like I said, I do a lot of highlighter. Okay, so now that the bag is empty, I wanna give you guys one more overview of the inside. So you've got those two big side pockets and they're both zippered. Um, both zippered pockets here. And then you've got the four compartments. And then you've got the four um, pockets in front. So one, two, three, four in front of the zippered pockets and then um, that's the main compartment, and then you've got your insulated pockets on both sides of the inside as well. So quite a bit of room here, and again, you can see where that like spacing is here, um, just in case you need to shove some extra stuff on top, because being a mom, we're always shoving our bags to the absolute brim, but I love, love this purse. Um, and then just some like close-ups of some of the details on here. Um, so this is the Miss Fong, like I said, love and peace style of um, purse or backpack or diaper backpack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just, I love all of these metal accents. The gold metal accents against the black is beautiful. Um, it also comes in a tan color, which I went back and forth on for a long time, but I ultimately decided to go with the black because my wallet is black and this is just, these this is the color that I've always gotten is the black with the gold accent. I just think it's so classic and it's so pretty and it goes with so many outfits. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, and people don't even know that this is a diaper bag. This, I get so many compliments on when I'm out in public. Um, people ask me where I got my bag and I, I always have to tell them that it's actually a diaper bag, but um, you can use it for so many different things. That doesn't have to be a diaper bag. Um, you could definitely just use it for yourself and put like water bottles and like snacks and things in the insulated areas um, anyway absolutely love this bag and all of the little details I also wanted to point out that on the love and peace bag there is these little tassels on those front pockets super cute and all of the snap buttons are magnetic and this is such a good quality bag. All of my Miss Fong bags, I still have all of them, and they've held up so well. I, like I said, I still have all of them. I like to intermix them a lot, um, but this is definitely one that I've been loving so far this summer. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for what is in my diaper bag summer edition and the review of the Miss Fong Love and Peace bag. Again, I've always had Miss Fong diaper backpacks. I absolutely love them. I've got three different styles of them. If you wanna see some of my other diaper bag videos and the other two styles that I own, go ahead and check out the links below. I always have Miss Fong diaper backpacks linked down below for you guys in every single video. I absolutely love them. So, any hoozles. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you liked this kind of video on my channel, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave because I upload tons of videos just like this. Any kind of mom style content, I've got cleaning and homemaking and mom day in the life videos. And of course, what's in my diaper bag and just all of the things that relate to mom life you can find here on my channel. All right, you guys. Thank you again, and I will see you in a couple days for a cleaning motivation video. Ah! Okay, bye guys.